Hello, welcome to the post-16 virtual opening evening where I'm going to be discussing with you the Spanish A-level course that we'll be offering at Tuxford Academy over the next two years for you. So we're going to be separating this between the year 12 content and the year 13 content um, where you'll be looking at different topics for both. Now the topics are um, particularly interesting and easy to discuss, they're quite meaty topics. Um, so the first one we'll look at is the aspects of Hispanic society. So we've got los valores tradicionales y modernos, uh, el ciberespacio, and la igualdad de los sexos. Okay, so they're quite interesting topics that are, are really easy to discuss, debate, which is one of the main skills at A-level. And then we're going to look at artistic culture in the Hispanic world in the first year as well. So la influencia de los idolos, uh, la identidad regional de España and el patrimonio cultural. So these topics we're going to be uh, discussing, um, writing about throughout the first year, as, as well as the first cultural topic. Uh, so you, each year you'll discuss a cultural topic. Uh, the, the first one you will do at the end of the first year and it will be a one book or a film from a list chosen by AQA. OK, so, for example, we look at a play, La Casa de Manar Alba this year, as well as El Labyrinto del Fauno, which is a film. OK, and um, you write an essay. Your writing paper is about these cultural topics. So you'll be expected to write 300 words um, to discuss uh, the themes um, and the features in that cultural topic. Additionally to this, you've got to be able to manipulate the language properly. Uh, so there is a focus on grammar throughout as well, because we want you to be able to not just regurgitate Spanish, but actually to uh, manipulate, use it freely um, without any kind of hesitation. So uh, you'll be looking at the grammar formally and in depth you will need to work hard to learn this so that by the end of year 12, you'll be able to manipulate the language better and speak with more spontane uh, spontaneous speech. And in year 12, we don't have a formal exam because the exam for this uh, comes at the end of year 13. So instead, we will give you the experience of an exam. So you will do an AS level pass paper as an internal mock within the academy at the end of year 12. And this will be based on the six language topics covered in year 12 and the cultural topic. So you will do your listening, reading, translating, speaking and a cultural topic essay. Now, at year 13, the A-level content, OK, you have different topics again, which again are uh, interesting, nice topics to discuss. Um, multiculturalism in Hispanic society is the first one. So you're going to be doing that. La inmigración, el racismo y la convivencia. OK, so these are really, really good topics to discuss, to write about. Um, it's nice to be engaged with topics like this in Spanish because it means that, um, you know, we're really getting into what we're looking at. So aspects of political life in the Hispanic world is the other one. Uh, so jóvenes de hoy, ciudadanos de mañana, uh, monarquías, repúblicas y dictaduras, and the other one, movimientos populares. So you will spend the majority of the year discussing these two topics uh, in depth. So it's not going to be a case of you know, just looking at the vocabulary, you're going to be learning about how to debate in these languages, um, about these topics, you're going to be looking at how to, um, you know, properly manipulate quite complex texts from, auth uh, from authentic sources. So we're going to be looking at real material from uh, Spanish newspapers, for example, from Spanish um, TV, that kind of thing. So then you will also be discussing a second cultural topic for your other writing. So um, you'll study another book from the film or the list. So for if a film is studied in year 12, then a book has to be chosen in year 13. We are not allowed to pick two films. And you will write two essays in target language one on each topic from a choice of two. So you have two questions about your first cultural topic, you'll pick one of those and then you have your cultural topic from year two, you will have two questions for that and you pick one question for each. So you'll write two essays for your writing 
300 words each. The grammar is a little less intense in the second year. It is more that you put into practice what you've learned in the first year. So you've got to remember it, you've got to use it, you've got to apply it, manipulate it in your own writing, in your own speaking. And the exam. Now you're used to having a, a listening paper, a reading paper and a writing paper, etc. all separately. But in uh, A-level, paper one is your listening, reading and translation paper, OK, which is a two and a half hour exam. So it's slightly different. The listening, for example, you are given uh, the track yourself on um, on a format that you can rewind, pause and um, go through the track as much as you want. Obviously not going out of the time. Your reading and your translation all in the same paper. Then you have your paper two, which is the writing, which is two essays, as we've discussed about the cultural topics. And paper three, which is the speaking. So you do a card, a speaking card, a photo card, just like the one that's shown here, just a bit, a bit like the one that you did for GCSE. And then your speaking also incorporates your IRP, individual research topic, which is a topic you have chosen about something specific to Spanish culture, Hispanic culture, Latin American culture. You have to pick it, research it, create a presentation about it, and then have a nine or ten minute discussion with your teacher or the examiner about your topic. So it's a little bit um, more self-directed. You've got to do your own research into the topic rather than us giving you the questions you answer in them. It's the other way around. We also have Caboodle, which uh, the school has as a resource for you to be able to use at home in lesson. It's online with all of the course um, on one single platform that you can access. You can access your coursework digitally via Caboodle. Um, there's lots of other interactive grammar, interactive grammar resources. You can access a wealth of listening materials. Um, so you can practice doing your listening, being in control of the track, just like you would do in the exam. Um, and you can focus on a skill such as vocabulary. It's very good. And all those questions are geared towards the A-level question papers. So why would you take Spanish A-level, apart from the fact that, um, you know, it's brilliant anyway? There are lots of benefits to this in terms of your future and your skills that you have as a skill set. So you will learn the mechanics of the language and therefore you'll be able to really speak the language spontaneously rather than just being able to recognise it, rather than just being able to say and regurgitate sentences. You will actually be able to learn how to fluently use the language. It's a life skill you can offer to an employer. For the world of work. A levels in MFL, that's modern foreign languages, are well, well respected by top universities. And there is a low uptake nationally for these. So if you have one, you really stand out as having a rare skill that very few people have. You'll get a really different vision of a culture which you cannot understand without speaking the language. So you really delve into how the people live, how the culture is. Um, affected by its history, all of these kinds of things. And you'll be able to communicate with the people you meet and have fun in, in many of the Spanish speaking countries that you might go to. You might choose to, for example, travel abroad. You might choose to do some of your study at university abroad. Um, you find that a much more interesting experience if you're able to communicate with everyone instead of just being that person that has to ask everyone if they speak English. So thanks for listening to that. Uh, please consider this carefully if you're going to take A-level Spanish. It's an extremely interesting course with lots of good topics and it's a very valuable to be able to offer to employees in, in terms of enriching yourself personally, culturally um, and giving yourself extra opportunities you wouldn't get maybe if you didn't study a language. Thank you very much.